I wonder if we're really talking though this time now that David's thrown his entire family under, under the, bus. the bus. Yeah. <laughs> uh, nice, Kyle. That's that's hilarious. Oh, what not? Hey, folks! It's Saturday night. Welcome to Murder Hobo Inc. Follow us on Twitch. Follow us on Twitter. Take a look at our YouTube archive. If you want to buy cool stuff, go ahead. Uh, if you don't, don't worry about it. If you want to chat with us on Discord, go ahead. Most importantly, if you want a seat on the show, let us know. We'll get you hooked up. Tuesday, we've got a uh, what do you call that thing? Talk show. Uh, who knows what we'll be talking about? Uh, two of the members from last Tuesday's show are on here, uh, Carol and Christy. Uh, so tonight is one shot night. Uh, they are going to be third level. Uh, we had a little bit of pre-production problems. So if you were listening early and couldn't figure out what was going on, uh, that was Kyle hacking on his family. And he was oh, that using was several voices. Oh, uh, yeah, that was Kyle. That was Kyle. <laughs> that was Kyle. He's no longer allowed oh, at family functions. Uh, <laughs> folks, uh, before we get into the nuts and bolts and details of this thing, let's introduce you to the cast. We'll start off with David. David, who are you? Who are you playing? Hi, I'm David. That's it. <laughs> no, <laughs> actually. Um, okay, mud. Big hit, exactly. <laughs> Uh, no, big Murder Hobo fan. Got to play on the show. Uh, I'll be playing the character of Fenton Grindstone. He is a halfling uh, artificer battlesmith uh, with his faithful companion, Roger Two. So that, that's who will be on the board tonight. <laughs> I am killing Roger Two. There's no good luck. or buts. Good, good luck. He's a steel <laughs> defender. So. <laughs> oh. I believe it's going to start raining, Rusty. Uh, next, <laughs> next up is Kyle. Kyle, who are you? Who are you playing? Uh, I'm Kyle. I show up on occasion here and there. When the restraining <laughs> order's lifted. Who are you playing tonight? I am playing the incredibly muscular, tiny, loin cloth wearing. Almost as old as Mama Udu herself. Oh boy. I'm gonna be playing Shama Give Do. Give Do. Oh, I love it. Homie, where you make it? <laughs> like to see homos naked? No, homie, where you make it? So you're <laughs> playing the water boy tonight. <laughs> I don't know what you're about. Uh, next up is Christy. Christy, who are you playing tonight? And who I'm are you? I am Christy Peterson, and I will be playing Captain Karash, pirate, captain, <laughs> fighter, extraordinaire, and Kick ladies' man. Kicker that in the is nuts. awesome. <laughs> the nut and I like the kick stuff. <laughs> uh, last but certainly not least is Carol. Carol, who are you, and who are you playing tonight? Hi, everyone. I'm Carol, and tonight I'm playing Andre Yeager. Who is my uh, my forest dwelling uh, ranger? What is that class again? Oh yeah, ranger. Um, although you know, it's too bad. I wish this was a urban you know venture because I would have brought Rainia and Rainia and Captain Koresh would have torn up the town. <laughs> or gotten gonorrhea we aren't really sure yeah <laughs> as i recall I mean, in one episode captain Karash was a favorite at the brothel scene i didn't get anything remember <laughs> not for lack of trying <laughs> <laughs> uh folks tonight we're uh, playing what's called uh, tentatively kobold pass uh the war in fragmore is over uh, the Fragmorians have successfully wiped out the humanoid population that has been the bane in their mm -hmm. southeastern area of the nation. Uh, with that comes the opportunity for expansion. Breathing room. Uh, Kyle doesn't have his uh, green screen up, so he can't. Uh, no Hitler <laughs> jokes tonight, folks. Uh, they currently need breathing room, but first, before they get breathing room, uh, they don't know what's out there. Throw up. So an envoy, <laughs> an envoy <laughs> from the Count of Fragmore has found these four uh, liquor in it up in a local tavern and tell them that they have been tasked uh, with meeting the Count. Uh, he has a uh, job for them. Uh, so you are escorted out of the tavern rather unceremoniously, but 
your bar tab has been paid. Uh, you move to Count Fragmore's envoy, because the Count is a busy man, uh, and he says uh, you need to go outside to where the military encampment is. Uh, the actual front line of the battle is just a couple miles away, and the military was camped out just outside the walls of the city. As you head that way, getting a slight tinge of a hangover, you pass <laughs> by a group of adventurers known to you as a bunch of riffraff and a bunch of shitheads. Uh, they <laughs> smirk at you as you go by, and they head off to the southwest. Uh, the envoy takes you into the tent of General Tarassus. Uh, she is a very staunch looking woman. Her blood splattered rented armor is over on a stand being cleaned by a page. Uh, she looks harried at some paperwork on her desk, looks up and says, uh, You should try saving some of lady. <laughs> I was about to say it, Carl. Oh, it's getting a little long there. <laughs> <laughs> Does that ah, help filter the food that you eat? The sexism <laughs> will start early, folks. Oh my God. Uh, remember, <laughs> mature audiences only. Be you like, can bleach that stop. if you like. You can't even understand him. It's literally going to be playing like uh, Blue Power, Kenny. Oh, I don't have a really good good reason. You know, it's going to happen. Great. Uh, before I forget, we'd like to welcome oddfishgames.com. Oddfish Games is considering uh, sponsoring us, and we appreciate that. Uh, they are one We're of gonna the We're going to ruin your chances in this <laughs> project. <laughs> They're one of the folks behind Adventure Sense. If you haven't seen Adventure Sense or smelled it, uh, you're really missing out. We make sure to hit their booth at Gen Con every year, and we really like them. But uh, they are a subsidiary, if you will, of oddfishgames.com. So go ahead and check them out. They've got some plushies. They've got some other toys. they got some cool shit. Uh, and you know what? I highly recommend the sewer smell from Adventure Sense. Uh, if you aren't cleared out yet, uh, you will be after you take a deep breath of that. Nice. Uh, <laughs> it, it is harsh, man. It is hard. And their their stuff lasts like a year if you take it. Smells care of like it. stinking cloud. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it is it is nasty. So General Tarassus uh kind of blows you off. Uh, you have heard that she's not a big fan of adventurers. Uh, she gives you the over under and pushes two potions in your direction. I'll take D12s from everybody, please. I'll just go ahead and grab those. You'll be fine, guys. I got it. Oh my just god. Just grab them. I'll shove them up under the loin. Yeah, I to it. Yeah. Nine. Let me know you went with them potions. Nine. Uh, mm -hmm. Five. Seven. Seven. Ten. Uh, yeah, Shaman gets ten. one and Fenton gets the other. These are regular healing potions. 1d8 plus two. No ones on them. Uh, she also hands off a blank map, which has been given out to all of our players. Uh, beforehand, uh, and we'll just go ahead and throw that up there for all you folks at home that are paying attention. Uh, and I'll screw everything up, and the producer will scream and yell at me. Uh, no. So here you go. Uh, that's what it looks like. So that that's what they have to do. They that's have to go fair. out, and they are going to explore the area and see what they can see. Uh, General Tarasis wants... Uh, notification of what lies in each particular hex vis-a-vis uh, -vis environmental, uh, whether it be mountains, grasslands, river, etc. She also wants a detailed information packet on what you may or may not discover in there. Uh, she is currently looking for gemstone or ore slash mineral deposits uh, to go ahead and offset the current economic woes that the war has uh, transpired. Uh, you will know uh, on character that the Kobold Pass is aptly named, and those treacherous little bastards have caused uh, the nation of Fragmore a lot of problems. But General Jurassic points out that her and her troops, she and her troops, have effectively rid the countryside of those little bastards so it should be good hey, for you who guys is little bastard? 
Chinese. I'm going to have to go out on the limb to say that I am not a part of the genocide of any race on this thing, then, despite the cobalts being absolutely disgusting. <laughs> Damn Skippy. So, so say it, the, the uh, warrior from the seas. Uh, she says, uh, head out to the battle zone. You cannot miss it. It's between the pincers of the mountain, uh, aptly named Cobalt Pass. Go in. Uh, and you have just a few hours to go ahead and get me the information I seek, or I am sending the military in. Now, most importantly, should you come back with useful information, detailed statistics, and a good map, you will each win. What are they going to win, Vanna? They're going to win land holding. Uh, you will not be able to collect taxes because you're only third level, but a little bit of land goes a long way. You may have first pick. However, the count can overrule you. So... Yeah, right. Not with my legs. <laughs> <laughs> that, that, that being said, are you guys ready? Yeah, I guess so. Yeah. Uh, everybody, D12 for me again, please, because of the production problems we had, uh, not because of the producer. Well, there you go. Oh, five. Uh, Anja, Captain Karash, you each have a plus one weapon of your choice. Ooh. Okay, that works because I already had a plus one longsword in my inventory. There you go. Uh, any questions for General Tarasis, whose name I keep butchering? <laughs> uh, she points out that there are two other cadres or groups of adventurers already in there so it is kind of a competition one of which you have already seen and not very pleasant you may have lost money to them may have lost a drinking game or a bet to them in some way they are assholes uh you do not know the uh identity of the third group but they are already headed that way so chop chop boys and girls Mm. They're an asshole. Is there any asshole. way I can do maybe a? I mean, because uh, I, any way I can do like maybe a history check or some sort of check the, to think of like maybe the best way to get there. Or straight ahead. Oh. On a horse. <laughs> I mean, yeah, there I mean, will be no horses. I mean, I would I know anything fine. about the layout yeah, or anything like that? Like. Nope. No. The what you know is uh, the map you have been provided. It may be all mountains. Uh, it may be trails. <laughs> it may be a big lava pit. They they have no idea what is past the, the uh, desert sands. Then I okay. say I know the best directionals, and this is the best way to find it. Eeny, meeny. <laughs> well, I I have some ability. Well, to that sounds scientifically sound. So it is. yeah. <laughs> oh, we've got a collection of characters tonight. Okay. Hey, uh, we're going to Yellowstone, huh? Woo! Yep. Uh, an hour into the foot travel has brought you to the hazy battlefield. A stench of death exudes from the region, and bodies are being placed in several piles. Dead soldiers are being laid out in lines, and it is clear that General Tarasus's victory was quite costly. Military men are cleaning the battlefield and have collected weapons, armor, and most likely any wealth from each member of the two forces. Uh, <laughs> you can proceed past them, or you can stop and ask questions. I want to steal stuff, but, um, you know, I guess asking questions is appropriate. What kind of questions would you like? Hey, hey, hey. Uh, uh, <clears throat> so, uh, this battle was really messed up, right? Um, is there any women left over and uh, <laughs> are they lonely and um what did you encounter prior what was the main discourse and uh what's the best way to get out of here if something bad would happen the soldier flips up her face mask uh showing you a very handsome woman uh, there you are rugged features uh and she says there's nothing to see here. And as you can tell, kobolds were what's on the menu tonight. Kobolds did this. I can't believe you guys died of it. Look at, look at how badly you, by kobolds, really. They're just, 
they're easy kickables. I mean, they're yeah. just they're right there. You could kick them. They go flying. They're dead. How did they do this? Well, because there's a lot more, I can guess, there's a lot more than two. And you only have two feet that you can kick things with at a time. And I have a great like, axe. Oh, I have a great axe and a crossbow. And I, I have, this, this smile can kill, too. <laughs> <laughs> I walk up to the captain. I say, hey, Captain, who are you talking to? Oh, my God, what happened to your face, lady? Oh, so I point to the soldier we just encountered. Oh, <laughs> Them kobolds really got your faith, didn't they? Gotta watch out for that ass. And... <laughs> he's a he's a <sighs> touch to the head. He's a he's special. Yeah, <laughs> helmet special. I'd keep that helmet on him. Uh, you guys are part of the adventuring group sent in. We're one uh, of the. I was going to ask if you saw the other two, either of the other two, and which direction did they head? Is it just in, or did you, could you see any further than that? Yeah, I, we saw both uh, groups. They looked uh, way better prepared, uh, much prettier, and uh, were hey. a whole lot nicer. They went, uh, one went along the mountain ridge to the left, and one went to the mountain ridge to the right. Hmm. So yeah. that's center is probably uncovered uh, sure we mm -hmm. that, that seems like sound adventure logic <laughs> i'm gonna go out on the limb that these cobalts alone had some sort of advantage to get your numbers down so low i mean you obviously wanted to fight but i mean at what cost i mean you guys are like what a third third left and you want like what us to go in and do something about it okay cool as you can tell from the terrain, our cavalry was unable to mount a charge. That means we had to go in. Uh, you'll notice that there's a slight rise here. So the kobolds actually held the high ground. Yeah, that gives them an advantage. Did you take all out or are we gonna find any leftovers? We killed everything we saw. I doubt that. that this is no. my sword. There are many like it, but this one is mine. <laughs> Don't start that, Frank. <laughs> Especially to the Marine in the room. <laughs> Don't yeah, I, don't, I don't get that. All right, cool. Um, you know, lady, uh, I don't doubt that you guys did something, but I mean, let's go and be honest. Would you be asking for adventures for help if, you know, if it was successful? But I mean, I'm not going to take away your victory. <laughs> They probably think what we're doing is boring. Yeah, probably. Actually, we think that uh, adventurers are cheap. All right, that's fighting words. No, I, <laughs> as they're saying that, you just see Shaman give do with a sickle picking his nose. <laughs> <laughs> I would, but I'm going to say, I don't think it's us that, that are the ones that are cheap. I think it would be you. Oh, uh, bird. Bird. Uh, <laughs> <all right. laughs> yeah. Well, I'm getting paid because I'm a survivor. We'll see if you can say the same thing. Because what All are right. you doing? You're going into the great unknown. Good luck. You'll okay. need it. Hey, there, uh, there, right. sail Sailor Sailor Moon. Uh, hope you blow your man down. <laughs> and with that, I kick her right in her face. She's pretty tall. <laughs> Think Brienne of Tarth. <laughs> oh well, he's tall too. He's big too. So no, uh, he goes to he goes to say uh, he just he just uh he just kind of just kind of playfully punches her in the shoulder. So okay, let's go. Uh, as you he, as you hit her, your hand just stops like you're hitting a wall, <laughs> and you can tell bad idea. <laughs> <laughs> you immediately realize two things: she's built like a stone wall. And if you hit her again, she's probably going to push in your stool. <laughs> oh, listen, listen you, you are the stuff that, oh. you know, is future wifey materials. But if I make it back, all right, one piece, I tell you what, I'm going to take you over to the bar. We're going to have a drink at a lovely dinner, and we can talk more about the battle. But until then, stop insulting me. Because I'm really nice company and a gentleman, and I and my feelings are easily hurt. And you know, I don't. Says the guy you just tried to kick me in the face. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm I'm you just have to know how to talk to him. That's all. Yes. Well, Isn't yeah, how you right. talk to him? And I just go up and smack her right on the ass. Now I'll see you later. <laughs> <laughs> 
Tongue. <laughs> 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 I shake my head and I <laughs> as she readies her crossbow. Uh, so do you guys want to head straight up the middle or follow in behind uh, one of the other groups? I, I don't think going up the middle is a good idea. It's just that they are well, the DM probably isn't going to fuck you over. Yeah, no. probably not. They're taking the sides and the middle is unexplored and they want information. Unless we want to go after them and waylay them. <laughs> I don't... It's an I'll take the ones on the left. You guys take the ones on the right. See ya. Uh, I mean, hey! <laughs> stop splitting the party. I don't I don't think... I, don't, I mean, honestly, uh, the kobolds are small, so they would have to get an advantage in this fight. They've already, you know, took out a, quite a bit of their numbers, so, you know, that's my thinking, Honestly, I'm game for whatever people want to do. I just throw suggestions out, and you can you can take it or leave. And it. you're a ranger. Oh, okay, well, yeah. you know, I, I I don't mean to, you know, uh, are you quite handy with the bow? Because it, it would be advantageous. I'm, I'm more handy. <laughs> I'm more handy with the sword, but I do have a crossbow. All right. Well, you know, in the sake of. Uh, you know, getting this moving. <laughs> if we go down the middle, we we leave ourselves vulnerable to attack from above. Mm -hmm. Okay, I mean that is fair. As uh, <laughs> you climb that sandy mess in O two O three and O two O four, you notice that it does plateau out. So you are not going to continue to climb. You can see mountains off in the distance uh, and some mountains in the center. So it is going to be what you perceive to be a maze-like environment. Uh, as you reach the peak, uh, we'll say uh, each one of these little uh, hexes is say, mm, we'll give it 30 minutes. Uh, as you reach the peak, uh, everybody perception check for me, please. Sure, sure, sure. Uh, this might be That's cocked. Nah. Uh, 16 for Fenton. That'd be well, a 10. And zero. No, 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 mm -hmm. 13. Fenton's I'm sorry. got his little sextant out in his journal, so. Uh, Fenton realizes that there are tendrils of smoke coming from what used to be a town, maybe, off in the distance. And I pointed out to the group, I was like, shit's burning over there. Kind of looks like a town. <laughs> dead, dead, dead straight ahead. Uh, yeah. There are just remnants of something up there. Yeah. Hmm, burning town. Uh, that sounds promising. You know, uh, <laughs> yeah. smoke, fires, you know, open pits, if it was burning meat or something. And usually, usually it's post ransack. I've ransacked lots of things. Um, the brothel and Cathaway. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and uh, yeah, not to mention the, or was it a, yeah, the, what was the one with the Romeo and Juliet subplot? Uh, yeah. uh, that was, uh, how, uh, it started with an H. Yeah, we burnt that shit down too. Down to the yeah. ground. Yeah. Yep, you hope. did. <laughs> so you're, you're headed into the village of the damned? Uh, let's, uh, that sounds like a wonderful town. Love this place. So this is 0303 is going to be a town. Uh, the closer you get, the more you smell death and destruction. The tendrils of smoke are coming out of what would have been hide-covered igloo-looking things. Uh, everybody give me a nature check. Ooh. Nature, huh? I can do that. I can Except do that. I rolled a one. <laughs> I did not. I rolled Ooh. a 19 plus 2, uh, so 21. 17 plus 4, so 21. You guys, what was I yours? said, what I said, I rolled like, crap, I rolled like a 15. Yeah, all yeah. three of you. All three of you recognize this as uh, where kobolds would stay. It appears mm -hmm. as though this would have been the residential district of the kobolds. Uh, the closer you get, the more you realize there are no male kobolds here. Only the dead of women and children. 
the oh, mills uh, went off. Hey, um, can I make a survival check just to see if any of our competition has been through here? Sure, go ahead. Because cobalt feet are real tiny. Maybe <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll tell that's a what the hell is that? That's a 14. There are no signs of militaristic combat here. This was done by a savage or somebody who always wanted to be a Jedi. You aren't really sure. It's one of the No, two. no, no. What I meant was uh, 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 more recent food prints of like the other adventuring companies. Yes. Like, <clears throat> I've been through. okay, so what how how can't tell how many? Oh no, oh. it's it's a jumble. They've they have gone through here and they have killed Freaking everybody. Everybody give me uh, a perception check, please. Oh, uh, sure. Oh, that's a 15. And I 20, guess smoke's 22. in my eye because I only rolled a 5. I rolled a, a 19. Sure. 18 plus 4, so. Shaman? Oh, nice. uh, Shaman's taking a real interest to that steel defender, Rusty. <laughs> yeah, I got a negative 1. <laughs> that yeah. dong looks delicious. This dwarven forge dice is lucky. Oh, wow. Captain Karash and Anja, you hear a soft moan. Uh oh. Oh, no. Coming from one of the half burnt igloos. I'm just going to go and, and just kind of break it apart because if it's burning or smoldering, I want to make sure that it's not going to, you know, if it's going to collapse, you know, I can take majority of it on me to uh, see what's in there. Or Anja. Andre, what are you doing? Uh, I hear you said I heard it too. Yep. I'll go with her because I mean something something's moaning in there. That's not good for them. Uh, and I'm, I'm just gonna kind of just lose a rocking. Somebody, I, if if she's gonna go in, I'm gonna kind of just kind of brace. You know, that, if it collapses. Are you dabbing it? <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna uh, dab it. But I'm gonna kind of try to brace it to keep whoever's moaning. If it collapses on me, or possibly if she gets in, that majority of the structure tries to fall on me. Then, awesome. then. fair enough, Captain Karash. Unless you roll a one, you should be successful on that. So just straight up D twenty. Anja, <laughs> you go in and you find a young kobold. Uh, unless you've sexed kobolds before, you don't know if it's a male or female. Do I do I add anything to it? Straight it's up, just, it's eleven. Yeah, you you're fine. You can go okay. ahead and hold it off with your gauntlets. Okay. So, Anja, there's a small child in there uh, asking for water and help. Oh, look at the baby. So, a cobalt child in, in common, correct? Yes. They understand I, common. I will reach down, grab my water skin, and hand it to the child. Um, cobalt life. disgusting skin. child. Are you okay? <laughs> <laughs> Is he injured? Can I make a medicine check to see? Oh, yeah. He... You don't need a medicine check. He's hurt. Oh, he's oh. hurt. Uh, I don't really have any. He's covered in blood, but it doesn't appear to be his own. There oh, are several no. other bodies inside the uh, hut. Um, oh. Can I do an investigation of the bodies? I mean, is it any danger of falling on us? Is it on fire or anything? Mm -mm. You can do yeah. that. Can I investigate the um, other the bodies? Body? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. And I'll, I'll send Roger in with her. So. Beep, boop, beep, 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 boop, woof, woof. <laughs> danger, is... danger, Captain Karash, danger. <laughs> uh, Non-natural 20. Okay, Anja, what do you got? What am I rolling again? Sorry, I realize I have no friggin' spells for some reason, and I know I had spells in here you before. Said yeah, I, I want to know what you're doing. You yeah. said oh, investigation, not perception. Uh, I am going Medicine. to... I'm more interested. I, you guys, it, it's fine because I've got the kid. Um, I am going to basically check the check him over. I'm like, oh, you said you need help. Uh, so you he said he's speaking common, right? So I can speak to, back to him. Mm -hmm. um, what sort of help can I provide? Would you want me to get help you get out of here? You can roll poetry. <laughs> Oh, I am actually pretty perform. I'm pretty persuasive, and uh, <laughs> uh, Anja, you can go ahead and continue to uh, clean him up and give him, him he, she, it uh, water. You don't know what sex it is, uh, Captain Karash. You notice that there are certain markings on all of the dead kobolds in here that would give you the indication of a familial concept. Uh, there are three infants that are dead. One. 
matriarch maybe ish mm -hmm. uh, I guess kobolds have nipples I'm not I I don't they, know I, mean, I assume they do because uh, they're like <laughs> little dog creatures uh, so again you know there are no males here uh, okay. so the males went off to fight and the females and the children were left behind and now everybody's dead but do I know the manner in which it looks like they were killed were they stabbed were they bashed both oh wow was it did it look like it was like uh i don't know um something bigger than them that did it yeah they didn't get beaten to death by mites <laughs> i mean it could have been their own people like their own size you know like you know. uh the, the damage is extensive this would have been most likely at the hands of humans oh, oh yeah. my goodness but again um uh, no you, you when you passed by the warriors that were cleaning up the bodies, they were all wearing distinctive footwear. They wear Uggs. Uggs, you're welcome. Uh, <laughs> these are not Uggs. Terrible. These are I knew these people boots. were. I knew these people were terrible. Poor fashion choices. But um, <laughs> uh, I think, I, okay, so I would probably turn to Aja and your little robot, I guess, is a robot? Yeah, Steel Defender Roger. Mm -hmm. Okay. Hey, Roger, go get Finn. And uh, that weird ass, whatever he is, I can't even understand. <laughs> Shaman. Make sure that he does. It. Make sure he cleans his hands before he starts touching all over stuff. I mean, they're already disgusting as it is. But when I say he's disgusting, that's saying something. Okay. He just says Roger, Roger, and runs out and goes and gets me. Wow. <laughs> Great, Buck Rogers is in the house. Uh, <laughs> Captain Karash and Anja, you go ahead and look over the situation. You find nothing of value in this hut. Uh, Anja, your uh, repeated offerings of water go taken, and uh, the young child <laughs> creature uh, appears to be doing better. Uh, he kind of walks with a limp, though, so probably. I'm going to ask you, you child you disgusting child uh who did this yeah men manly men <laughs> <laughs> manly, manly men dressed like you probably and, and you no and you, but not like how, that one how long is it? <laughs> hour oh fuck it yeah. probably was it was probably them back there that did it no, I think it's the adventurer. One of the adventurer groups came in and did this. Oh, that's terrible. That's terrible. Uh, they had they had nothing to do with this. Exactly. Oh, we need to hunt on those freaking assholes is what we're going to end up doing. I I think I think that'd be uh, you know, the stupid map thing. I don't, well, maps. You get somebody else to draw your stupid maps. Let's stop <laughs> the friends drawing the map. Yeah. <laughs> And uh, oh. I'm marking the town and writing notes. <laughs> Listen, Dad, you, you've gone three whole hexes. Yeah, three whole hexes this time. <laughs> All right, Fenton, Fenton, let's go ahead and serve. We we should we should advance forward because they can only be yeah. further up. But I'm gonna let you know that um, we have a sneak of suspicion, me and Aja, and I don't need to talk for you, Aja. But no, no, no. Kate, we both came to the same conclusion that the possibly the venture party that's ahead of us is doing destructive to these. Uh, Possibly innocent kobolds. We don't know if they're innocent or not, but they didn't deserve to die like this. I know that for sure. A These farming accident. That's how a kobold goes out. <laughs> <laughs> of course. They deserve to die by their own stupidity. Not by their <laughs> uh, FYI, I will be rolling a D20 at the end of this session to see how many uh, hexes the other two groups, unless you collide with them, have done and uh, we maybe will, collide yeah. with one of them possibly uh so uh the big question is do you want to take uh i'm gonna call the kobold he she it um <laughs> do you want to take he she it with you or um oh. yeah we we could i mean i can okay, just okay we're gonna take I'll a go child ahead and carry he she it. Oh. Or, i probably look or, a lot like i mean mother. does the child have anywhere to go no i don't want to do <laughs> oh, that he's, he's got relatives in uh Maryville, indiana that he right, right. <laughs> there we go does he i'm want sorry to, or does he want to wait here and come with us from yeah you? yeah i ask him if he can hide until we come back he's yeah. a little child i'll go ahead and carry i'm, him. A, I'm 
You want to take him with us? He, 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 would, carry him. he would rather go with you and risk certain death with you guys than uh, the <laughs> unknown death of staying in uh, what is El Crap Hole that used to be. <laughs> okay. So I so, pick him up and put him on top of Shaman's shoulders. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Before we get started, I, I, I'll set, set the wounds out. <laughs> so. uh, okay. Uh, he, she, it will still be in a lot of pain, but that's okay. So now you have a choice. You can go to uh, what appears to be you. Yes. Greg, I will give him two good berries to heal him two hit points of damage. Okay. He'll be fine then. I pick yeah. some. Uh, I so only got 10. you can go to 302, 403, 404, or 304. Uh, up, yeah, I re- down or right. Right. Yeah. Are we gonna? Do we want to pursue the assholes that took out the village? Because like we could try to tra- I can try to track them, or do we want to just keep surveying stuff? Um, I can let Roger see if uh, see if he sees any footprints or or sign that in what direction whoever did this left. Yeah, I think we- that's a good idea. Okay, yeah. and actually, one of us can roll advantage to have survival as well. Okay. We'll both see. work on it. What's your what's your what's your check? Uh let's see. Uh for nature? Yeah, no, for survival is how you find tracks. Okay. Uh let's see. I've... At least at least my reality it always is. I don't know about Frank's, but for the most part it's survival. <laughs> no, survival for Rangers is pretty much the standard. Yeah. 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 So mine is a plus four. What's yours? Uh it's uh uh plus two and yeah, same for Roger. Yeah. So- want me to roll an advantage then sure okay i will roll my new dice Uh, oh that's good that's an 18 on the die so that's a 22 thank you for the advantage (laughs) you find tracks that go towards uh 0302 and then they abruptly end Hmm. Huh. They end. And there's no evidence. It's almost like somebody has waved the oak leaves over the tracks. Just a disappearance. They're trying to just they're trying to It it was a deck of many things that the kobolds held. (laughs) (laughs) Let's Uh, let's at the tracks abruptly end. They're obviously hiding hiding themselves. So uh, so backtrack by walking in their tracks too. Yeah. Um, but I don't get why. Because they did something terrible back there, and they don't want to do. They don't want to suffer the consequences. <laughs> I'm sorry. I do terrible shit all the time. I hide myself. <laughs> I get away with hey, 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 because I can do things oh, like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, terrible. Is there I... anything else in this hex that we want to check out? Just uh, it's dead a bunch bodies. of dirty football crap. I don't know, but I'm gonna give he she had a knife just in case we get attacked on the road. Oh, you were <laughs> That's a great idea. Yeah, I was thinking I don't have a spare dagger actually. Otherwise, I was thinking <laughs> he she it is. Don't worry, I'm just a better person than you guys are. I'm <laughs> <laughs> a little man. Uh, so, uh, your choice is go north, uh, go one of the two east, or go one south. I. We gonna we're gonna go to the dust the the path that disappears or okay yeah yeah I, I'll I'll take a reading and and make a mark and we can go in that direction o three o two are hills okay uh, uh and from here you know that two o two and three o one are mountains and impassable okay. So we're not going that way. Um, right. Roger's so got. So we're basically uh, like in a valley, like 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 a. Oh. More of a plateau surrounded by high mountain peaks. Right. You had to, you had to go up to get because the kobolds held high ground, and once you got up there, it's all plateau, and you'll only be able to see about a hex away. Uh, <coughs> So you, from where you're at now in 02 or 0302, you can see mountains to the north, you can see hills to the east, and you can see grasslands 
to the lower east. Kobolds can hide in the grasslands. Uh, our uh, adventurers could go to the high grounds, which I would do because I'm a criminal. I would go to the high grounds. <laughs> coming. That's what I'm saying. You know, kobolds can hide in the grass, so they could easily ambush us from the grass, and then yeah. from the island, they could be looking down on us. So we're right. in a bad spot. Yeah, yeah. Um. So how do we want to remedy this? Do we want to go high or low? I'm just gonna start yelling. Where the fuck, fuck are you? Are you? <laughs> Roger's got the vigilant feature, defenders do, so he can't okay. be surprised. Now right. twenty, so there ain't no answer. Got it. All right. Hey, um, you see it? Where do you think your people would be hiding if they got slaughtered in that plateau? All my people are dead. Hey, you don't know where the other people are? Yeah. I, I think Merrillville or Pittsburgh. Hey, right, then go to Merrillville. That's a nice place. <laughs> <laughs> um, the region's a beautiful place. Yeah. Anyway. I got a family in Merrillville. That's a nice place. They're all dead now at this point. <laughs> uh, so yeah, you guys could go 402 or 403 or go back to where you were. I'm thinking 402? Yeah. Okay. The grasslands. We we could at least Grasslands or 403. Oh, okay. Uh, we could I don't either or We're not actually paying attention to what you're saying, Frank. We're just go with whatever we like no because i'm trying okay if we go okay if we go to the hills um, um grassland we can easily burn it down is what i'm saying so um, <laughs> <laughs> with us in it why not <laughs> the first time. so you want to go to 043 you want to go to the grasslands that's you know at this point i don't have a trail I mean, and we were really sure. So I mean, either which way is fine, as long as we keep cataloging stuff. Yeah. Uh, let's go. All right. Uh, I, I, I'm going to say, uh, let's go up to, I'm, I say go up to hills because um, also grassland, big cats and stuff hide in there. Yeah. Get... <laughs> Especially when you set it on fire. <laughs> okay. can I, can we Things come little... running out. <laughs> maybe we can see into the grasslands too that's what i'm thinking too let's do that yeah. one let's so 402 is hills uh mm -hmm. 401 is mountains mm -hmm. i won't go hills i don't uh, feel like climbing mountains. 501 502 are going to be hills uh 403 beneath you is grassland i will take investigation checks from all okay I'm also I'm gonna kidding. look at the rocks and just for I'm any ore samples or something. Eleven. Nineteen. Uh, fourteen. Oh uh, no. Seven, seventeen. I have um seventeen plus two, so nineteen. Uh you see no movement in the grasslands and shaman uh with your second natural one. Oh. He, he I'm not second. This is like third now tonight. <laughs> he she it. Uh, she has a little poo on your shoulders. <laughs> <laughs> it's good for exfoliating the skin. Right? Very <laughs> lucky. Cobalt poop is very lucky. We're gonna have a wonder journey. There we go. At least you're getting all the the ones out now, rather than when we're in a fight. When so we don't... Uh, well, five hundred like one, five hundred two, or four hundred three. Um, nice. Let's just keep going forward. Just keep going. Yeah. I'm gonna be looking for a nun named Maria. <laughs> just, uh, let's keep going straight ahead. Straight 501. Uh, mm -hmm. 500 are mountains. Impassable. Okay, uh, so 602 where? mountains. Impassable. Mm -hmm. 601 appears to be hills. Uh, Fenton, give me a nature check. All right. You want some help, then I'll help you out with that nature tag. Sure. I'm good at nature. Uh, I, let's see. Shaman uh, has nature on his shoulder right now. Yeah, 17. Uh, you find uh, some copper ore. Okay. Uh, right. So in 
500. Uh, there's going to be some copper ore there. Okay. You cannot tell density or uh, approximate value, but it is something to note. Okay. Uh, so you can go to 601, uh, which are hills, or go down to 502, which are also hills. Um, mm. I feel like 502 is backtracking. <laughs> Me too. 602. Mm. Everyone's okay with that. Nope, yeah. 602 is mountains. Oh, so one. We're going okay. like the Von Trapp family through the mountains, everybody. <laughs> So 601 or 502? Correct. 601. You want to stay north? Okay. Yeah. 601. Uh, 601, everybody give me an investigation check. Did it. I got a 19. <laughs> 10. 21. For Fenton. Uh, Screw you, Fenton. <laughs> uh, Shaman and Fenton uh, notice the hills stop in between this mountain chain and there is a depression down in to what would most likely be a canyon you guys notice two things one there is movement down on the canyon floor and two the way down is most likely through a cave hmm. or you, you can return back to 502 can they make out what sort of beings are movement, uh, moving down there? The shadows of the morning uh, convolute the situation, so you cannot tell if it is animal, vegetable, or mineral in this case. Well, well how bad can a cave be? It can be pretty bad, but... Um, Bats, leeches, those little things that like to fall down on top of you and cast darkness on you. I don't know <laughs> what they're called. Dark yeah. mantles. Yeah. I hope you guys appreciate that I'm uh, being more clear as I speak. Yeah. <laughs> it hurts my voice so much more, though. <laughs> Got that jug Shaman. of water, man. Shaman, give a do. I understand you. You keep picking your nose. <laughs> yeah. Actually, that's he she yet picking my nose. <laughs> Get a good one there. <laughs> oh, oh, that's the spot. I'm, oh, I'm just. I am just taken how this creature, this disgusting child, is taken to you. This might be your new new son, daughter. He's gonna be such a great example for the kid. <laughs> that's well, your that's new alike, daddy. So. That's your new daddy. He she it. Since you have no family. A Shaman. new personal best 48 minutes in and you guys haven't killed shit. Oh, <laughs> crap. Okay. I, mean, I think we're above the best. There we go. Yeah, right. there we go. I go um, kill Roger. <laughs> good luck. <laughs> Roger, Roger just gives you a menacing look. <laughs> I say, uh, I say just for a sense of adventure. We go through this cave and, you know, explore it. I'm yeah, I am too, because there's minerals in, I really actually or, or something in the cave. So. Everybody give me investigation as you plunge headlong into the darkness of the cave. See, he, she, it, they're going to get us all killed, these so stupid flesh bags. Wait, wait, perception uh, or investigation? Investigation. Investigation, 17 plus 6, 23. 14. Freaking baby, I got a 22. 19. Uh, everybody but Captain Karash notices the presence of feathers outside of this cave. Very <laughs> elongated feathers, very colorful feathers. I will take a nature check to see if you have encountered said creature before. 21. Uh, nah, I guess I haven't. Because that was oh. only a, a nine. <laughs> yeah, I haven't seen it before. Five. Uh, 12. Nope. Only one of you knows what this thing is. And we're not going to understand a word he's saying to understand. <laughs> so what is it? <laughs> what as, is you, as you enter yeah. the cavern, you notice rivulets of water are coming down the uh, walls, and it makes a sharp descending coil uh, to what you presume will be the bottom of the canyon. Uh, your investigations were all high enough to realize there are footprints, maybe recent passing footprints. Like uh, human adventure booted footprints? Uh, adventure booties. 
Booties. No. Mm -hmm. I mean, couldn't they get themselves a Stetson or or, or or like some Doc Martens? Uggs. Uggs. Uh, Uggs. Steel Uggs from They're the uh, Uggs. military. <laughs> uh, as you notice, uh, I assume you guys are going in? Yes. Yeah. Everybody have dark vision? I do. Uh, I, one of my I, infusions is goggles of night, I so I pull that down. Damn I do. Racers. Yes, I do. Have elves have dark vision. Uh, goblins do, right? Absolutely. Okay, uh, <laughs> I, I know too. exactly what I'm going to do, too. Uh, oh, shit. <laughs> you know, Ed, uh, the cave, of course, splits because the DM is a jerk. You can go <laughs> left, which takes a sharp decline, or a right, which takes a lesser decline. Survival check to, to keep tracking those footprints, and I would be more than happy to take help on this. Oh, uh, right. sure. I shove on just so she can get a better look at the footprints oh. on the ground. <laughs> there you go. That was terrible. My highest my higher roll was an eight. So that was <laughs> a twelve. Uh the split of this cave uh, is uh. dry, hence you have lost the trail. God damn it. All right. Um uh you guys notice that there are screams. Screams? coming from the right uh and what sounds like a wolf howl from the left and, um, what hmm. kind of screams like an animal scream or people screaming as they're being eaten by animals investigation check and how far, how far can, man. 18 how far plus can 6 24 how far can they see down the 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 tunnels? I mean, about ten feet because they're curving around. What was yours, Anja? That was what a roll. I rolled a six. That's a nine. Uh, Fenton. It sounds like bats. And she had who knew they were bats? Get out of here! Run! <laughs> <laughs> and that's on the right or left? Bats are on the right. The wolf howl is on the left. Okay. COVID-19 is on the right and the wolf is on the left. On the left. <laughs> well, Just deep fry them critters real good. I'm with you, Shaman. Let's go. Yeah. Which way? Bats or wolf? Um, I could kick their asses either way, but... Yeah, right. so... Um, it doesn't... I mean, it's up to you. Do you feel like dealing with flying creatures or more... Teethy Terry creatures. Yeah, I can deal with either. I'm better at melee, but I can deal with either. All right, let's uh, go with the wolf, maybe. We'll go with the wolf. Yeah. Yeah. And if worse comes to worse, we'll come back and take care of the bats. Uh, I'm not as, you, <laughs> as you choose the left channel, you notice that it continually becomes smaller uh, and smaller confines. Uh, uh, there are no signs of wolves. There are no footprints. Uh, but the good news is you see shadows and light ahead as it continues to curl and wind down like what will it soon be an adventure theme park with the water slide. Uh, <laughs> wow. who, who is leading? <laughs> this already sounds awesome. awesome. I don't know. There's like a choice of who could be leading. Um, I mean, I could be leading. You, you're going to have to go single file because it just continues to close in. Anybody suffer from uh, claustrophobia? Claustrophobia? No. <laughs> yeah, no. I'm a yeah little person. I, I just I'm just know. prone to temper tantrums. <laughs> so, who wants to be first? <clears throat> I can be, or I'll, so I'll give the option. If Captain I'll let Roger take point because yes, he, he's vigilant. So I, I think that one. Well, right, Roger could go first too. Yeah. And uh, then I will. I will go behind Roger since I'm, you know, biggest, and if something bad happens, I can absorb it. <laughs> after yeah. that is you guys' decision. Yeah, <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll be right right behind Karash. Uh, okay. okay. Um, I guess I'll go at the back then. Gotcha. Cover the uh, six. That puts you in the middle there, Shaman. I'm okay. not going to put good in the middle of a party. Uh... What is Roger again? A robotic dog? Yeah. Okay. Dog. 
uh, as he uh, arf, 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 sniffs it out, uh, you are going to see him learn how to fly. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> really, Good. really well. Uh, Captain Karash, you're going to be the first to notice a meaty, feather-covered paw whack oh, uh, fuck. Roger the dog uh, into the canyon decline, and you're going to hear arf, doink, doink, arf, doink. <laughs> uh, I'm everybody, like, hold on, Roger. <laughs> everybody roll initiative for the owl bear. Oh, crap. I told you it was an owl bear, guys. Why don't you listen to me? <laughs> owl bear, don't care. That's a friggin' terrible initiative. Oh, well, I don't have to roll initiative for Roger <laughs> for right oh. now. <laughs> Nat 20 to Roger. <laughs> so how much damage yeah. did he take? He's got stats, so... I've got the five for me on initiative. That's 14. Okay. 12 plus two. Be right back. I'm gonna go get a friend. <laughs> Roger is going to suffer. Oh shit. <laughs> oh, you nat 20 that shit too. Ah, uh, 20 damage. Almost okay. maxed it out. Uh, right. Captain Karash, uh, 14. Yes. Um, Albear 16. You and Fenton are the only ones able to melee it. Yeah. Anja and Shaman will have to use missile or magic. Uh, I am going to try and split the difference, which means I'm going to have to beak Captain Karash and claw Fenton. Uh, uh, so Roger activates his uh, repair mode, so uh, he gets mm -hmm. back 11 points. Okay. Uh, my first attack against Captain Karash is an 11 plus 7, 18. That'll hit. And my claw attack against Fenton is 5 plus 7, which is only a 12. And that misses. The bite causes d10 plus 5. And that's a 9. 14 okay. damage total. Oh, oh. shit. Ow! Why? Uh, because, <laughs> because you said you could handle the hits. Uh, <laughs> I, I was just, I can, but I'm just saying, like, ow, why? I did nothing to you. <laughs> Captain Karash, uh, well, Fenton, what was your initiative? Uh, my initiative was only nine. Go ahead, Captain Karash. You are up, and the owlbear is pissed. <laughs> okay. It's okay. Oh, it's gonna take Roger about a turn or two to to join us, probably. Does right. eighteen hit? Oh yeah, yeah. You only need right. a thirteen to hit an Albert. Yeah, it's probably big and fluffy. Um, let's see. I'm gonna use my great axe. All right. And I got a twelve plus two is fourteen. Take us, give us a get. <laughs> Good. Ew. Do you do more damage to it than it did to you? Well, yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. How much? Well, no, I, I I did fourteen. I get a plus two, um, so twelve plus, and I I a d twelve for great axe, right? And yep. Plus two for my attack. No, it's a plus one. It's a plus one weapon, right? Correct. So that's oh, fifteen then. Fifteen, nicely done. Uh, I'll be ready. Fenton, you're up. Okay, I see one of Roger's uh, one-pound balls, <laughs> ball bearings on the ground. And uh, yeah, the owlbear is going to have to make a, a 14 dex save as I cast Catapult. 10 plus 1, 11. It okay. does not pass. Okay. Let me just stop right there. Okay. Did pretty it's similar. A, a line of attack? Mm-hmm. Oh, I spawned. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Fenton and Captain Karash are the only two at the mouth. Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. Because um, I was thinking the same thing, but yeah. Yeah. I, I, no, I gave no, him a I did too. I, yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, the the ball bearing only hits for five points of damage. Fenton or Fenton, uh, Shaman, you're up. Well, with a twenty-two. Uh, I'm going to pull out a heavy crossbow 
And because I'm really small, I have disadvantage. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. That, one, that one flew right out. <laughs> oh, shit. You don't have to roll, do you? <laughs> He's been rolling once all night. Kyle, change out those fucking dice. Oh, he nice. twice. Nice. And? Uh, uh, wah, wah. Uh, odd Fenton, even Captain Karash in the back oh, of the head. Mother. Odd. What, do, what do I have to do? You got He's shot, dead. maybe. Uh, why? Why? Because Shaman uh, give dudes an asshole. It was an odd. Oh, Fenton. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, so that is. Uh, you are going to take five points of piercing damage. That halved? Yes, uh, that's halved already. Mm -hmm. uh, Fenton! Uh, He's fling. armored, so, yeah. <laughs> uh, next up, last but not least, Anja at the back of the pack. Uh, what, we're in single file, aren't we? Yep. I uh, Missile even... or magic? Yep, I can't even heal anybody either. So I guess I'll try to shoot something. I'm not real... Gr I mean, this is not my strong point, but... What else? It's not shamans either. Shaman, the reason you missed was because he she it in fear covered your eyes uh when he she it uh observed the owl bear. Hence oh, you were blind for a moment and that would explain your why. Anja, what you got? <laughs> uh, um what the hell? I will do a bonus act. I believe that's a bonus action, right? Hunter's mark. Yep, yes. hunter's mark is a bonus action. Mm -hmm. We'll put it on Fenton. a baddie, and I will take a shot at it. Please don't. <laughs> oh, man. What? <laughs> Let me roll to see if I hit. That's a crap roll. Um, am I taking any minuses? That's, that's, a, uh, that's a 12 to hit. Swing and a miss. Almost got him. Top no. of the order. Uh, I'm going to reverse. So I'm going to try and bite Fenton and claw Captain Karaj this time. Okay. Uh, Fenton, yours. 15 plus 7. 22. Mm. Captain Karaj. 5 plus 7. That is a 12. That misses. The, yeah, miss. Uh, Fenton. Ha. He's taking a bite out of your dime. Oh, shit. Seven Ooh. plus five. Twelve damage as you get the chomp. Uh, Captain Karash, it's time to kill this bastard. Uh, I, I, I got a, a 13 on the dot. Good. All right. I'm going to go ahead and great axe him again. One. All one, right. One, that, one, I'm gonna, one. That, was a, uh, that was a one or two since I'm a great weapons fighter. I can reroll again. And I got a two again. So uh, that is <laughs> damage. <laughs> How much? Five points of damage. Boy, we're, we're damage. racking them up. Uh, you got, this is where this game ends. Uh, All right, go I'm going ahead. Gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and use my axe and surge and hit him again. Okay. Maybe. Okay. Maybe you'll hit him. How much longer right, till Roger uh, 15, gets here? 15. Yep, that hits. Another All right, round. and we'll attack plus, at the end of the round. 10, 10 plus, uh, oh, wait, I keep forgetting it's a plus three. So, uh, that would have been six points of damage, and then this is 13 points of damage. That's better. Got it. Uh, Fenton, you're up. Uh, All Roger right. will be here at the end of next round. Okay, okay. shield in hand. Uh, I'm gonna melee attack it. Mace shield in hand, bolt in the back, of the, back of the head. <laughs> oh! All right, so, uh, yeah, I'm going to try to hit it with the mace. Give it a mace to the face. Gotcha. Mace to the face. Ooh, 13. Just barely, but you got him. I got it. <laughs> Let's hope I roll well. Uh, 11 points of damage. That's nice. Uh, Shaman. Uh, D12 against me. Let's see if he shit still has his hands on you. Eight. Yep, you're still blind as shit. <laughs> <laughs> you could fire again, though, at disadvantage. Oh, crap. I, My shield is out. <laughs> I always yeah, fire this at disadvantage. 
Um, I'm shooting a heavy crossbow that's as large as I am. <laughs> oh, I'm always shooting at disadvantage. Blind doesn't matter. Oh, what? crap. That oh, sucks. Fuck. I just remembered he's a half orc. He gets savage attack, too. How much I extra a, damage is out? I get another uh, damage dice. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead, Shaman. What are you doing? Double 19s. Nice. <laughs> oh, it's a two, so I get to re-roll it again. All right, eight, um, eight plus three is uh, uh, eleven. Uh, eleven, yes. Go ahead, shaman. Uh, twelve damage. <laughs> yes. Yes. Uh, that is enough. Uh, the owlbear is struck between the eyes by a blindfolded, undersized goblin. Uh, and I it reload falls the heavy backwards. crossbow and I fire again. Nice. <laughs> Fenton, D12 against me. Let's see if it crushes Roger on it. It's oh, shit. <laughs> oh, shit. Seven. Oh, man. Oh, man. Let's see how this goes. Oh, no. Seven. <laughs> Reroll. <laughs> oh. Oh, Wait. that's all right. He's got three charges on repair mode. So. Three that time. Nine. Okay. Uh, beep, boop, beep. Roger shows up a little bit late as it falls, sending feathers into the air. You guys find yourself on the bottom of a canyon. Uh, if you look south, the canyon will continue, but off in the distance, there are trees. Uh, hmm. You may collect feathers from the owlbear, the claws from the owlbear, mm -hmm. or the beak if you're truly weird about it. Other I have one, feathers. There's... I'll take a take some claws. Okay. Sure. Uh, animal handling for the claws. Feathers are easy to pluck. Anja and Shaman. I'm going to take his teeth. There are no <laughs> teeth in an owlbear. <laughs> yeah, 17. I'm going to try real good. Fine. Uh, you get the claws. Okay. Anja, what do you want? No teeth. Owlbear lives matter. Oh. <laughs> have, have my buddy hanging out with me tonight, then. Not mm. anymore. He's yeah, I was about to say, he's dead. I, brought, I have the mini of the owlbear sitting here with me. <laughs> he's he's dead. Dead. Now he's dead. Dead. <laughs> yeah. dead. No, he's not. I'm just are, are you are collecting you anything, meat? Anja? Are you going to collect the meat? Feathers. Feathers. Okay, oh, feathers, feathers are easy to collect. Uh, I'll take so, his head then, if that's okay. Make a helmet out of it later on. That'd be cool. Sure. sure. Uh, give me an animal handling. Let's make sure you don't split it the wrong way. <laughs> Can I try to get some of the meat? Because I'm thinking that could be money. Sure. Oh, yeah. 15. You can collect the head. Yeah. Uh, you guys can go back up the incline. Uh, you'll also notice another exit down here, presumably from the right, uh, or you can continue south to 0701, uh, which is the canyon. 8, 0801, 0802, and of course 0602 are all mountains, as is 800. I'm thinking I'd like to go to the canyon. Yeah. Okay. Have we exited the cave yet? Mm -hmm. okay. <laughs> you're on the canyon floor hey, we didn't find any like g signs of gem or yeah i was gonna say i was gonna do a yeah. sample no nope. so that would logically make sense okay no no uh treasure or anything or uh we did see the footprints but we followed it this way we don't see any footprints this way there are no footprints in the canyon uh there are no shadows in the canyon uh, so whatever some of you saw ain't here now. Okay. I'm going to be casting Mending on on Roger, Roger. as we're walking out. Yeah. Uh, as you reach 0701, you notice that 0702 is a mixed forest. Uh, and it is on the same plateau as the canyon. So you are not gaining or losing. You are just there. Uh, 0701 uh, is flanked by hills at 0803, more forest at 0603, and hills at 0703. So you have hills, hills, 
more forest. Let's go hills. Okay. Sir, can we make, we, do we have uh, any sign of footprints? And is uh, no, not here. Okay. Yeah. Uh, uh, do you want the hills at 0703 or 0803? And what time of day is it? Uh, you guys are probably kicking in around noon. Okay. Yeah, four hours. You guys have been out there four hours. Okay. 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 So it, it it's you sun's high in the sky, so it's yeah. So oh seven oh three or oh eight oh three. Which hills? Oh eight oh three. Oh eight oh eight oh three. You guys stumble onto a patch of wild berries. I will take a nature check. I'm not good at this. Uh, eighteen. What was it? Eighteen. Okay. What about shaman? What about you, nature? Oh, I just eat a berry. Oh, you just eat it? Okay. Um, surprisingly not too bad. 17 plus 2, so 19. Uh, uh, Fenton is uh, 12 plus 4, 16. Fenton doesn't know what it is. Captain Karash knows from his travels on the high seas. And Anja, being a ranger, also knows what these are. These are what are called fudu berries. And when taken by the handful... They will heal you. They're oh. non toxic. Uh, there are. Do I notice, like, his, if he had anything on him, heal? <laughs> he uh, heard he it. Well, he took one berry, so no. He shot uh, himself, so maybe, you know, like a little blood with. Bloop. There are six bushes. You can collect a handful from each bush. Yeah. Okay. Can hang. All right. So I'm going to. How many berries is in a handful? I start kicking over bushes. <laughs> one bush worth now captain karash you will know that you cannot just destroy these bushes and carry them with you because oh. they are fragile they are italian oh. uh each bush contains one handful okay. uh there are six bushes each bush will heal 1d6 plus two in this case 1D6. you can collect the berries but they are only good for a very short time oh. I'm going to take my big, meaty, half-orc hands and try to daintily take these little berries. <laughs> Just... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I will take a handful and put them in my pouch. I have good berries, too. Yeah, I got I got nimble little hands, so I'm like... <laughs> so Captain Karash is making foodoo Jelly. <laughs> Fenton's got one. Anja has one. Shaman, how many do you want to take? Uh, he, she, in is going to grab a batch, and I'll grab a batch. Pick up. What, I'm like, what, one bush left. Um, and I grabbed the other one for he, she, it as well. Yeah. These <laughs> no flesh bush. bags are a bunch of jerks who don't even care about <laughs> No bushes left. Uh, These are tasty. Mm. From 0803, yeah. you can see 0902 are hills. 0903 and 0804 are grasslands. You also have 0703 as uh, mixed forest and hills. God, that's a lot of choice. <laughs> yeah, it is. Oh, man. How many choices are there? Hills, grasland, Four. or mix of forest and hills. Two mix yeah. of Whatever forest, two was. grasslands, and Wow, there, there's voice. more cover in the mixed area with forest and hill. So, I mean, if we had to take cover or anything like that. Okay. And that was um, the forest and hill was 80... 0902. 0902, yeah. We're going to keep going forward since, I mean, that is right in front of us. Yeah. Okay. Now I'm going to take a reading and forest. write it down. Okay. Uh, 0902 seems to be lush. There are several creeks here. Uh, mm -hmm. Easily easy to traverse. Uh, as you reach 0902, I will take investigation checks, please. Actually, hold on. I get anything for it being my favorite. 18. You said forest, right? Yes. Fen Fenton's investigation is how I can say his modifier. So he rolled well. He rolled a 19, so 25. 25, Jeez. 18. 14. 14. 
No, that's not a good rule anyways. It's not a one, but I mean, investigation. Well, and uh, 0901 uh, Wooded Hills, but it would appear, as Fenton has noticed, there is a structure in there. Uh, 10 2 and 10 3, along with 0903, are all grassland. <clears throat> Can I tell what kind of structure it is from the tall distance? One. Tall one, like down wood, a little bit wood, high over stone. the trees. Okay, uh, not from this angle. Okay, right. I want to. I'd like I, to I tell everybody about it and point it out. And, you know, I'll hand them the sextant, take a look in the looking glass. You want to go, Aja? Yeah. It's an interesting feature, so yes. <laughs> uh, you guys start to cut through the hillside, and the closer you get to it, the more you notice it is a very old stone tower in distressed condition. You also notice there seem to be a lot of bones in this area. Wow. What type of bones? That's the obvious question. Animal bones? <laughs> As he, he's looking up. <laughs> well, uh, you, you don't see any tracks here. Mm -mm. We just came out of the woods, too, like woods and creeks and stuff. You're still in the woods, though. I'm You're just there. Saying, Are there any, like, pellets on the ground or something like that? You know, like an owl vomits up? Yes. No. Okay, double check. Okay. <laughs> no footprints. No footprints either. All right. Are there any oh. little white bunnies? I mean, the thing is that no one else is here to catalog this. Uh... No, no white bunnies. I, I'm taking notes, so oh, I mean, no, I got it plotted. No so you got this really <clears throat> old, distressed-looking tower, suffered some damage, probably been here since the freaking dawn of time. Maybe Rudolph and Father Time are in there playing uh, Yahtzee, but... <laughs> uh, <laughs> you'll, you'll also notice it's rather quiet in this it region. Is quiet. That's not good. Good. And we don't hear anything else. Not a peep. Mm. Roger isn't picking up on anything. I slap Roger's flank with a sickle. Oh, ding, 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 ding. <laughs> Bring in the oh, dinner bell. Oh, crap. <laughs> oh, goodness. Nothing's here. Let's go, go, guys. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Sure. Uh, <laughs> um, Investigate the tower or leave. Uh, 1002, 10.03 are grasslands. Let's investigate the tower. Yeah. I'm curious. <laughs> Live dangerously. Yeah. Eight oh, cattle, we should. 801, 9, and 1001 are mountains. Uh, as you proceed closer to the tower, you hear the flap of leathery wings. There we go. Um, there we go. There we go. Leathery wings. Uh, can I try to hide as best <laughs> as a big, almost seven foot half orc can hide? Yeah, so I, see her, I, I see <laughs> her taking cover. So I her. <laughs> can we see the owner of the leathery wings? Not yet. I take I'll hide. I'm going to try and push myself up against an oak tree. Yeah. I, I'm Stealth check a... for those hiding. <laughs> Cry, but I do not have. I don't know my stealth. Hold on. Oh, uh, but this is a good yeah. roll. Uh, nine, it, Twelve for for Roger and uh, Fenton. Twenty-one. Nineteen. That's a twelve. Anja. So Anja and Fenton suck at hiding. <laughs> Captain Karash and Shaman and Hishiet uh, are her. I are hiding real well. They're blended in. No, <laughs> yeah. the I, I wear scale mail, so you have to roll at disadvantage for stealth checks, folks. Well, good news, Fenton and Anja, you now see the owner of the leathery flapping wings, and it is a crimson worm. Oh, oh everybody man. roll initiative. Yeah. <laughs> Great. Bring it. No. Well, I rolled a 19. Oh, crap. Natural. <laughs> All right, that's a 10. A real oh, I'm sorry, did you just say bring it? Oh, it's brought. Right. No, it's brought. Yeah, 15. 
that's a 18 or a 10. It's still be behind it. Or less. Shaman and Captain? 23. Nine. I have nine. nine. Yes. 23. Shaman, give do. Uh, what you want to do? You're hidden, or at least you think you are. Uh, you see a young, well, probably, probably a very young red dragon circling, waiting for its next meal. Hey, Frank. Mm -hmm. I have something I can do instantaneously as an action. Oh, wait, no, that's not it. <laughs> I guess not. Huh? I can do, no. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Shaman, what do you want to do? Uh, oh, that's an action. Never mind. Shaman Give Do is going to go into a rage, pull out <laughs> his whip, and watch ya! Oh, man. How long's your whip? <laughs> 15 feet? What's 10 feet? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Snap. Here I am. <laughs> uh, he, she, it decides to jump off your shoulders and cower in fear. Uh, the dragon ends up with a 20. So let's see who it's going to go after. Oh, we have a small child. Don't Do I hit. not hit it? Yeah, but aren't they 15 hitting? feet? No. Oh, come on. You didn't say that before I tried. It, would you like to shoot the crossbow instead? Uh, no, I would like to stay hidden in that case. <laughs> Fair enough. And the kid's hidden too, isn't he? Yeah, right here. I'm hidden. I'm There's hidden. Us that are not that hidden. Uh, you know what? It's going to circle around. Okay. Fair enough. Uh, that brings us to the 18. Anja. Oh, wow. My turn already. All right. Um, it's about 100, 110 feet. You know what? Let me let me roll to see how far away it is. 110 feet? If he's 15 feet, I'm going to be pissed, Frank. He is not 15 <laughs> feet. He is 80 feet away. Hovering. That is too... Can I get to... I can't get within 30 feet of him, I'm sure. Can you jump 50 feet? <laughs> <laughs> feet off the ground? Fenton. Yeah, he's a dragon. <laughs> no, well, that's fine. Um, this is going to be a hell of a minus. I'm going to hold my action until it I'm, attacks. Did, you know what I'm going to do? No, there's a, how far is the tower? Uh, ahead of you? Yeah. 10, 15 feet. I'm going to run into the tower. Fair enough. Probably living there. Maybe I'll start fucking with his gold pile if he has one. Uh, 15, Fenton, you're holding. Okay, yeah. Yeah, I'm holding. And Captain Karash, uh, ah. you see Anja running, Fenton hiding. I'm still hiding. I'm still hiding. <laughs> I'm gonna hold my action and stay hiding. If the thing comes within, if I could, if I can, if I could see it, like, face to face, you know, I'm gonna, you know, if I can, if, if it's within my reach, I'll hit it, but otherwise I'm gonna stay hiding. Fair enough. <laughs> Top of the order, Shaman. The beast is now 80 feet. I'm going to run into the tower too then. Fair enough. And then I'll hide inside the tower. Fair enough. Uh, that brings it to me. Anja, before you do anything, Shaman, before you do anything else, uh, you come to a gate blocked by debris Give me strength checks to see if you can shoulder your way in. Mm, no. 17. <laughs> that was good. Uh, strength checks? Hang on. Oh, God damn it, this thing. Uh, so strength, not save. So that is a 13. Fair enough. Uh, you both shove your way in, and you notice that every floor on this tower is at the bottom. So you will be scaling irregular angles to get into the open center of this thing. Uh, I'm going to see if the thing drops. Uh, it drops 10 feet. Let's see if it breathes yet. It lights up the top of the forest. Oh, oh no. Uh, as a reaction, uh, Fenton casts uh, absorb elements. So 
If I get hit by anything, I take half. Top, top of the trees. Just top of the oh, trees. Okay. Top You're of the at trees. the bottom of the trees. Okay. Yeah. Well, for one round, I'll, I'll have. Uh, you will see the tops of the Douglas fir trees dropping down. Uh, but the damn okay. thing is just flying in a lazy circle, setting everything on fire. Okay. Uh, that brings us to 18. Anja, you are inside the tower. You cannot see the creature. Right, but I did get a look of him, and I do have a thing as an action since I'm not going to do anything else. Could I do Hunter's Sense? I mean, otherwise I look out the door if you really want to make it technical, or I could have done this last round anyways, which basically just says I immediately learn whether the creature has any damage immunities, resistances, or vulnerabilities, and what they are. But the, hang on. Sorry, it's a red dragon. It's a red dragon. Yeah, I mean, the player knows all about red dragons and what they well i know it's a red dragon do they have any i assume they're immune to fire yeah <laughs> yes <immune> <laughs> <to> <laughs> i would say so oh, now everything do they have any other resistances like damage resistance or i think they, they resist cold, cold? Oh, mm -hmm. are they do they resist cold they do not resist cold <laughs> they do not resist cold okay i didn't know i mean yeah. they have like not the red dragon I, you know it to cold. You know it does a shitload of damage with its breath. Uh, other than that, uh, with it being so young, it probably has very few immunities and resistances aside from, of course, flame. Okay. Uh, you can also see the flame of the forest being on fire, aka oh. <laughs> beacon. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so that was your bonus action or oh, your that's my regular action because there really isn't much i mean i'm gonna move try to move are we in the tower with you the... and shaman are all right is there anything interesting to see that i could get some move action a shitload of debris uh based on irregular angles but you can go ahead and roll an investigation if you'd like sure uh, oh, that's good. That's a 16. So 16 plus you think I'd have some more. 19. Uh, there's something shiny across the uh, 40 foot tower base. So <coughs> that is my move. I, I, I'll look at that as I'm moving that direction. I'm trying to find some way to get that pucker to land. Really? <laughs> <laughs> Bring it, asshole. That, that's what your big wish is? Oh, oh, it's a coming. <laughs> you, know, you are going to be a butt plug for this dragon because it's going to yeah. land on your ass. <laughs> Fenton, Fenton, you're up. Okay, I'm looking to Karash to see what she's doing. I'm just like, Captain, what you doing? <laughs> uh, well, uh, I think the best thing to do is wait till this dragon's at the apex of this um, of circle at the farthest point and run like hell to the other part. Um, screw that tower and let's go on to the... <laughs> 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 I'm inclined to agree, Captain. I'm with you. <laughs> uh, send your doggy out to maybe do some distraction in case that thing comes back. It attacks the damn dog first and we just Hall ass. <laughs> Roger is like, hmm? <laughs> uh, I mean, so Fenton, you yell, What are we doing? She yells, I'm gonna run like hell as soon as it's out of eyesight. Yeah, this that's damn what I'm gonna thing do. is swirling. Okay, as soon as it's out of eyesight, and I take the cue from Captain Karash, we're gonna bolt. Mm -hmm. Ooh, okay, uh, as you bolt. Uh, it's going to descend to the 30 foot mark. Uh, oh, that's and, the right case. And problems are going to ensue. So, Fenton, Karash, Odd, Shaman, Anja, even. Dose. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be going oh, back into its tower. Oh, oh man. Yeah. Seeing the thieving Anja going for its gold. <laughs> Anja, you got your wish. Now, Fenton, let's go. Yeah. <laughs> Captain Karash and Fenton take off with Roger. Bee, 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 bee. Uh, I'm picturing Beaker. Uh, <laughs> so that brings us to uh, the end of the round. Uh, Shaman. Oh, shh. <laughs> Shit. You see it descending rapidly with its claws extended. 
Damn it, you shouldn't have gone in this Now tower. can I hit it with a whip? <laughs> if you wait just a moment, you can, because it won't be able to breathe this round. Or you can go up a little bit more if you... All, all, every floor has collapsed in, so oh. this tower's <laughs> spent. So, Shaman, you wait, you wait, you wait. Make your hit. All right. AC Rage. 17 for this thing. You're Reckless. Reading. Yeah, you're reading. Reckless, you say. <laughs> Reckless, I say. Yeah. Uh, that is going to be a uh, 23 to hit. Hits. That is going to be eight damage. Okay. And then I split. <laughs> we'll see. As the ghosts of other goblins start showing up in the oh, tower. Cool. Oh. Odd shaman, even Anja. Are you of the Udu tribe? Yeah. Some of the Udu tribe. The Dutch <laughs> clan. What? Uh, Anja, you're getting your wish. That's a two. It's going to try and bite you in the face. I'm, I'm Disadvantage. Not- Frank, I went running in. I'm headed for the freaking treasure on the other side of the room. Right. I'm, right. You, you and Shaman are inside the tower. So is right. the dragon. I thought the I thought Shaman was at the towards the door, and I was in. Yeah, you guys are both in the tower. So, uh, Shaman, what are you talking about, ghosts? Uh, the ghosts of Do Clan past are now haunting the dragon at the moment, so you have disadvantage on the attack. (laughs) Roll it. Uh, 18. Hit. And a two. (laughs) (laughs) That will be a miss uh, unless an eight hits you. Shaman's Uh, getting the fuck out of there. Bye. The dragon (laughs) snaps just shy of your head, Anja. Fenton, uh, you and Captain Karash are assholes and elbows. (laughs) Yeah. <laughs> we'll move to Anja. You're up. Uh, the dragon is inside the tower. Uh, you did not make it all the way to where its treasure is. Uh, you can shit your pants and fight. Because, <laughs> <laughs> uh, Shaman, did you Don't say fight. you ran? Uh, bam. Yeah. Out the tower. <laughs> Anja, you're alone. You need to get the fuck, fuck out. out. <laughs> if, if, well, if there's room for him to get out, then there's room for me to get out. Yeah, nothing's yeah. blocking you. He's coming down from the top. You guys can still get out. It's yeah, the, the dragon will not be able to get out the door that you guys came in. <laughs> like I closed the door behind me. <laughs> oh. <laughs> of course not, Carol. I didn't say I did that. There was no door. You guys push crap out of the way. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it, it is. Remember when you said you wanted it? It's dropping. So I know, but I'm not gonna friggin' take it on by myself. I mean, I'm pretty sure we four could have done it, but uh, you can totally do that. I'm backing you up. Yeah. Uh, you still have the ghosts floating around its head. If you yeah. want to make a run for it, go ahead. That would be the time. I'm gonna, oh, I'm gonna. Yeah, I'm gonna. You got do passed that. without a trace. Yes. No. What? No, I, no, it's a. I don't believe I have that at third level. You should. Plus, that's only that's only to make stealth checks, really. Let me look. I'll see. I'm checking my features and traits, but I have natural explorer fighting a fighting style, uh, spellcasters, my archetype, primal awareness, monster slayer, magic, hunter sense. This is a monster. <laughs> yeah, this is a monster. <laughs> I do not have anything here that says pass without a trace. Well, it's distracted, so. It's one of your yeah. ranger spells. But a pretty run, that's all. Yeah, but she's I'm only gonna, third level. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Sure. Are you going to run? I don't have it yet. I think, it, I think that does come into play later on. Yeah. Are you running? Yeah. Attack of opportunity. At disadvantage. Yep. Hit that's her, a, though. Does an 11 get you? Nope. Uh, You hear the snapping and gnashing of teeth as you head towards the ass of Shaman Givdu as uh, he has already exited the building. (laughs) Uh, You perform your best Elvis move and you too (coughs) leave the building. That leaves Uh uh, the Red Dragon in the tower itself. Uh, We'll move to Fenton and Captain. Are you guys still hauling ass uh, down the hills? Uh, Captain, <laughs> uh, do I if when I look behind, do I see them 
coming out of the tower or am I seeing them being yeah, harried? Yeah, do we see them coming out? Uh, I'll give you uh, percent, or I'll give you investigation at disadvantage because you're shitting yourself at this time. Okay, <laughs> that's fair. Uh, let's see. Fourteen. Oh, my first one was awesome. I, I rolled a twelve and a thirteen. So Ooh, my second I, one was even more awesome. So I got to take the shitty one, which is an eighteen. <laughs> uh, you guys will notice Shaman Givdu coming out. Uh, you will not yet see Anja coming out. Okay, so if that's the case, and we're running, I, I um, uh, how far away from the tower am I? You've got I two we... rounds of double uh, of dashing, so double your movement. So one hundred and twenty feet. So yeah. yeah. So you're, if I, you're, go ahead. I, well, uh, if I see Shaman, Shaman's just coming out of the tower, mm -hmm. right? So the tower is like 120 feet. Um, uh, that just depends on how much I care about them. Um, <laughs> it is a one shot. <laughs> saying anything, that is your decision. Uh, so. It's your decision, and it's fine. He would try to survive, so he. <laughs> <laughs> Benton, are you uh, humping Captain's ass? Uh, where where's the cobalt giant? And we're running toward grassland or trees or hills. Uh, let me see which way you went. You're going towards grassland at ten o two. All right. So once I get into the grassland, I'm gonna hide and watch. Okay. <laughs> Uh, Fenton, you have no idea where the cobalt child is. <laughs> okay. Damn it. Oh. <clears throat> and let's hope it isn't eaten. Um, you uh, see Captain Karaj run down the hill and dive into high grass. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah. I, I'm just, I'm going to give the high signal for, for Shaman and head for the high grass, too. Exactly. Right. Steel. And then I'll, I'm I'm a, I'm a stealth. I'm gonna be hidden. I'm gonna hide. Yeah. Uh, Shaman, you're up next. Uh, with Anja hot on your tail, uh, you spot Fenton ah! <laughs> going down. So you will have a clear direction of travel as to where he's going. Would you like to join him? I would like to press my back against the castle wall. Good idea. Quick, run over and <laughs> towards the hills in that direction. <laughs> Thanks, Kat. <laughs> I'm going to try and get Anja's attention as I stealth pressed up against the wall. <laughs> hey, so you're, you're yelling to her, not <laughs> he, she, it. Where is uh, he yelling to the dragon? Oh, I'm yelling to the dragon to get the dragon to go after Fenton while Anja and I <laughs> stay behind and get <laughs> some treasure. <laughs> No, he said go to the hills. We went to the high grass, so he's yeah. tricking the dragon to go to the hills. He's tricking the dragon. Okay. Yeah, just, that's a good plan. Odd stays with the tower, even goes after fresh meat. <clears throat> he might want to check and make sure none of his treasure disappeared. All right. I, uh, staying in the tower. Okay, good. This ah. round. <laughs> right. Uh, so, Captain Karash, what is your stealth roll? Oh, uh, uh, 19. And Fenton, you know about where Captain Karash was before he disappeared. Yeah. What would you like to do? Uh, uh, shut up the dog. Shut up the dog. Shut yeah, the dog. definitely shut up the dog. But uh, uh, I'm going to hop on uh, Roger and uh, run him at full speed. Um, yeah. So... So his his max speed is forty. So whatever a dash for a mountain is. So go ahead and give me an attack roll at disadvantage, please. An attack roll. Mm -hmm. Actually, first D twelve against me. Let's see if you're going to trample Captain Karaj hiding in leaves. Oh no. <laughs> twelve. Three. You're headed right for Captain Karaj, <laughs> even though you don't know it. Give me an attack roll at disadvantage to see if you miss her face. <laughs> or hit her in the head as you go Att by. Attack roll at disadvantage. At yeah. disadvantage. Okay. Captain Karash, what's your uh, AC? 16. Hey, not going to hit you. Yeah, I ain't going to hit you. Yeah, seven. 
Uh, Captain Karash, you look over to the side and see Fenton, yeehaw, yeehaw, on his robot. Uh, you also do not see Shaman or Anja. Anja and Shaman, you guys are pressed up against the tower. You can still hear the leathery I, beast circling I would, around inside. I would <laughs> tell Fenton, while you're playing around, we should be hiding until that thing gets away, and then we can go get the treasure when it's gone. Ah. Uh. You, you hey, make Fendi, such a good you point. Well, well. <laughs> <laughs> I heard something. Uh, I heard something. So I <laughs> rear Roger around and we just crouched down. <laughs> Shut up. Shaman hey, and Anja, what are you doing? Actually, first of all, if it's in the tower, I'm probably just go I'm probably not going to be. I'm probably just booking it. Okay. Yeah. I'm not really hiding. Oh, Shaman, she means this. <laughs> <laughs> hey, no, she's adding to my deception because now there's footsteps running away as well as where they're right. going. I'm not actually trying to screw him over. I figure actually maybe he he would be running. I'm hoping he's going to keep running. We weren't intentionally oh. screwing you over. Yeah, we were, we're just, just trying to get, get out. It's murder, hoping of course we're all trying to screw Sh each other. Shaman ain't <laughs> running. Shaman's up against the wall. Now, give me a I perception know. check, Anja. Let's see if you heard what he was yelling to the dragon. I'm trying to save my skin and steal stuff, so I would like mm -hmm. to do that alive. <laughs> uh, you heard something about grasslands uh, in the voice of Shaman, and you see hills and uh, trees and grasslands. So if what you heard was correct, the others may be headed towards the grasslands. Uh, unless they think it's he's friggin', you know, trying to fool the dragon, which would make sense. Uh, I also do feel like I'd have better cover in the trees. Agree? So, mm -hmm. um, that he's burning down? Okay. Nah, they're this fine. Is, that fire's everything is flammable. <laughs> yes. Trees, grass, everything. Right. I feel like I still have a better chance in the tree line. I'm, basically, I'm just going to go there, get out of the clearing, and look around to see if I can figure out where people are at. That'll work. Give me an uh, investigation check at disadvantage. Oh, disadvantage. You're in the wrong spot. Yep. Yeah, that would have been good if it wasn't a disadvantage. Perception, you said, or investigation? So that's investigation. A, it's only an 11. Uh, you do not see them. Shaman, <laughs> you do see Anja flee. You still cannot see he, she, it, and you still hear the dragon uh, wandering around inside the tower. He's holding. <laughs> by the way, I don't know if they, I'm not exactly hiding, so I don't know if the other two saw me. So. Uh, they did not because he ran not. into the woods. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, so now that you guys have all fucked yourself over royally, uh, the fire starts to die off of the trees. Uh, it burned about halfway down around a bigger perimeter for the tower, so the young dragon will have a much easier time in spotting any encroachment on it should it go up to its perch around the rim uh we'll start with 23 shaman what do you want to do give me an investigation check at disadvantage uh, that is a five you have no idea where he she it's at Shit. that's okay we already talked about what's gonna go on mm -hmm. so I want to just slowly go and check to see if there's a dragon in the tower. Oh, yeah. It's in there. You can hear it. Oh, okay. I'll uh, patiently wait. Like, <laughs> Is there an alcove to this door where we entered in? There's not an alcove because of the debris. Uh, it's just the door and leading up to kind of a ramp to where all the uh, floors fell in on itself. Okay. So there's no little kind of cozy that I could squeeze myself into and wait. And once you get into that doorway, you'll be eligible for a little halitosis. <laughs> uh -oh. Some really hot halitosis. Cinnamony. No. <laughs> uh, I will wait. Stay hidden. Uh, give me a D12, please. He takes Six. a lot of... Uh, that is a seven. Uh, you hear, are we still hiding from me? <laughs> uh, <laughs> and you hear a noise inside the tower as if the search of its treasure 
has ceased. Uh, moving on to 18, Anja, you are hiding in the woods. Uh, if you want to look anywhere, it will be a straight up no disadvantage investigation roll. Yeah, I'll scan. I will scan around to see if I can see, figure out where they went. Sure. Um, oh, that's not terrible. That investigation. So that's sixteen. Uh, you see a herd of wild ponies in o nine o three. All right, I will note that. <laughs> <laughs> my candy dandy notebook uh, because it's another square that we've cataloged. Ponies. Um, uh, moving over to Fenton and Captain Karaj. Um, did I hear the child? Not in your sector. You would okay. not have heard the child. Okay. Because okay. you are you are on the lower end. Yeah. You're out of the hills. How how okay, so we're in um 1002. You are in 1002. Uh, Anja is in 902. And Hushiet and Shaman are in 901. Okay. Huh. And the forest is, the forest is uh, 902. 902, 901. Uh, grasslands, 1002, uh, 1003. And you don't know it, but 903. Which is where the ponies and are at. 901, 901 is where the uh, dragon was burning down the forest. Okay. And the tower's mm -hmm. at. Yep. All right. And 902 is where Anja is. Anja. To the best of your knowledge. Yes. But I don't know if she's over there. I didn't see her run out, but that's where she is. Correct. <laughs> uh, this is crap because I was going to say if everybody was the if everybody would just hide over here we can wait this dragon out when it goes to get like a snack like those ponies over there then we could just rush in uh, and... you don't know the ponies are there oh yeah <laughs> I, don't, I don't know the ponies are there uh, it would get a snack like a herd of cattle or I don't know Maybe it does that, which means I, it's I, I don't want to sit in this grass any much yeah, longer neither do I chiggers uh, a lot of chigger bites <laughs> I uh I just, we just need a distraction, something to distract that, uh, to get the dragon away from Shoot me. the crossbow at the shaman! <laughs> <laughs> something to distract him, uh, to take his attention away, uh, so we can rush in and then get the hell out. Roger is looking away, whistling. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you know, all uh, I got is like a thousand ball bearings. Yeah, yeah, and, uh... Yeah, I get off, I get off of Roger is just like buddy just run for the hills until I call you. <laughs> okay, so uh, are you gonna send Roger to nine oh two or nine oh one? Uh as a distraction. So I'm gonna okay. Yeah. So, and that way we can go by I mean while the when the dragon takes off after when the dragon takes off after Roger, that's when we go in to the tower. And hopefully we can find the others if they're still alive. Yeah. Uh, Okay. So are you sending Roger to 901 or 902? Uh, bruh. Probably 901. Isn't One, that where, yeah. the, where the tower is? <laughs> beep, boop, beep. Uh, Shaman, before you go again, you hear the dragon climbing. Uh, dust falls on the top of your head. Uh, you hear a shriek from he, she, it in fear. Uh, and you hear the claws scale up the inside of the stone wall faster. Uh, give me a insight check. Insight check. <laughs> awesome methods. That is a negative one. Um, <laughs> oh, poor thing. You hear it climbing. You don't know where it is. We'll oh. start with you with your 23. I will take the risk and stealth into the tower. Okay. I. Oh God. Goblins are good at stealth, so. Go, go ahead and give me your stealth roll, and then I will do investigation. You break twenty-four natural twenty. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Natural one. Yeah. <laughs> the dragon continues to climb and as you go in stealthily you notice you are here on the wall 
and it was climbing right here on the wall, and it is now perched atop, <laughs> looking. Let's see if it spots he, she, it. Dun, 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 dun. You hear the swoop as the dragon falls off and a loud scream because 18 says he sees he, she, it. Paralyzed oh, no. in fear, the dragon begins its attack run. Well, there goes the fodder. 18 again. He, she, it is no more. Oh, shit. Uh, Poor baby. Anja, give me a perception at disadvantage since you're in the tree cover. Oh, God. We don't see nothing in this grass. These chickens are terrible, Finn. Yeah, I know. (laughs) Which one? Perception, you said? Yep. That's only a nine. Uh, the, the trees obscure your vision. You okay. hear a swoop, but you have no idea where that damn thing is. You assume it is not inside. Uh, the ponies look like they could be easily ridden the fuck out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Too bad nobody's over there. <laughs> Just her. <laughs> Just her. <laughs> That's not how- I need a ride. <laughs> <laughs> That's not how I play. Okay, I try to uh, uh, read, read the right, What's the title of this group? <laughs> yeah. no, this is a murder hobo one shot. Everybody plays like an asshole. It just gets, it goes against me too much. And besides, if we can make, I don't know, we're not going to slay the dragon. And, but oh, we totally could. There. If we worked together, that thing would have already been dead by now. Oh, yeah. I, Oh, just all four? I think all four of us, yeah, but... I was just going to try and, like, hide. I don't feel like fighting the dragon. <laughs> what are you going to do, Anja? Uh, I'm going to, once again, I'm going to try to look around for them. I mean, I guess they're not here. They're so hidden, so this one's going to be a disadvantage. I'm like, I guess I'll head towards where they're at. I think that's, like, the only direction I can really go other than being the square I'm at. Give me an odd or an even, please. Mm, odd. You head towards 10.02. Uh, next up, Fenton. Okay. You have sent uh, Roger up. Yeah. Beep, 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 beep. Roger will oil himself as he witnesses he, she, it get its body ripped in half, <laughs> thrown in midair. Uh, and down the gullet of the red dragon because he, she, it was small. Okay. Uh, yeah. Roger spills oil. What would you like for him to do next? Uh, I. <laughs> we got that message thing going. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> I, uh... This is what you hear. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I was just like, just take cover, buddy. <laughs> no, you got to get him to, to, to do the distraction. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we got we to gotta get a shaman out all right yeah uh, i just tell him just uh you are uh i i don't know what anja's doing so uh i'm just sending him uh i heard the, she was dead the opposite <laughs> direction of us and i just said just keep running buddy <laughs> so you're gonna run him right into the dragon uh, or, or run through it yeah <laughs> fair enough uh captain karash what do you want to do well as soon as i see that the dragon's attention is at the dog I'm gonna I'm gonna run like an arc, you know. Since you know he's distracted by the dog, I'm gonna try and see if I can see maybe Shaman or the door or whatever the case may be, Anja, wherever they are. So I can basically I'm trying to distract the dragon so the dragon's attention so I can either find my um, teammates or get the treasure. So you're gonna try and distract the dragon or wait till the dragon's distracted and move forward. I'm going to wait till the dragon is distracted. Top of the order, Shaman, give me an investigation check. Let's see if you find the gems and gold. Uh, 16. You find the gems and gold. Uh, they are loosely piled in a crevasse <laughs> of tower things. Uh, and your roll was high enough to find a scroll tube. It is a jade scroll tube worth 10 gold pieces added to the 322 gold pieces in gold and gems. Would you like to open the scroll tube? 
Uh, yeah. No, I will stick it in my loincloth so people don't know if I'm happy. <laughs> happy to see whether that. whether he's endowed or whether it's a scroll tube. <laughs> Outside of the tower, uh, the young worm turns and sees Roger valiantly charging. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Shake and bake. Well, give me good a, thing he's metal. <laughs> give me a DC 13 versus dexterity. Okay. Uh, let's see. And he's vigilant. Don't forget mm-hmm. that. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Uh, 19. So he'll be taking half. Okay. Okay. Good job, dog. Oh, that is actually a pretty shitty roll. <laughs> Two ones in that mess. Seven. Looks like he made it. He made it. <laughs> 24. Uh, Roger takes 12 damage in the inferno that follows. Okay, he's, he's up. He's, All right. he's still running. Uh, Anja, uh, you hear uh, what sounds like a blast furnace. Do I? Do I? Do I? I mean, I thought. Oh, it's Anja's turn. I was going to yep. say, um, did I make it to the tower or anything? Yeah, yeah. you were first. We, so. we, we will see in just a minute. Okay. Because you got the uh, nine. Yeah. I'm gonna. I know what. You know what? I hear that. I'm gonna go immediately turn and go back. I mean, I don't know how far I am from the edge of the clearing. The, this is the one time, Matt. A good two rounds. Oh, I didn't go that. Jesus, I wasn't trying to go that far in. Um, I guess then I just move. A double what? dash. Yeah. Okay. That's what I did. Uh, I mean, yeah, but I'm not. Get, I'm not still. I guess one friggin' to- entire round before I get to the edge to even see what's going on. Fenton, uh, not my your, your message. Uh, sounds like it's coming out of a broiler. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you hear Jesus Christ! <laughs> <laughs> uh, how far? Is Sir he... Robin is about to show up. How far away was he? If he is running uh, in the direction that we came, how far away is he from the cavern? Still, still a ways away. The no, we were hundred and ten. Yeah. Didn't we come? Oh. We came out of a cave in the canyon, so that yeah, that's but you too hooked far around. Away. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. the the, uh, the canyon entrance is seven oh one and eight oh two and eight oh one are mountains. <laughs> I tell him serpentine, <laughs> fun cover. <laughs> head back bitty, to bitty, the, bitty. head back to the tall grass. You should tell him. Okay. Head back to the tall grass to hide. Yeah, bring him back towards us. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Captain oh. Karash, you're up. All right, so I see Doggy get tossed and Dragon. You do not see it because he's on the high ground. You All are right. you are breaking through to the other side, Jim Morrison. I assume okay. you're going on the back side of the tower. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So do do I see yeah. Shaman? You'll see Flame. Uh, you will not see Shaman at all. Mm. All right, so I'm gonna hug the wall and try and go back inside the tower and you know get inside the tower to either either save people inside the tower if they're in there, or possibly if no one's in there, steal some more treasure. Yeah. You have two choices. The only entrance is where the dragon's at, or you can climb. I'm not climbing. Um, <laughs> let's see. Oh, geez. How did how did Shaman get in then? He uh, exited and, and walked in. around the corner. <laughs> it flew, it climbed the walls, and he went in. Is the dragon off the tower or flying or it's on the ground? It's on the ground. Okay. How 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 okay. How, oh, all right. The opening it's probably at the top blocking of the, tower, the entrance, how, right? Yeah, how sixty. Sixty feet. All right. Um I'm not gonna I, I got a way to get around that. <laughs> oh yeah. Mm-hmm. Next round. <laughs> Next round. <laughs> yeah. I don't I don't have a way inside the tower. So mm-hmm. I'm just I do, but we'll be exposed. Yeah, I mean, I'm still kind of on the outskirts. I, I mean, oh man, this okay. is hard. This is really... Hey, Kyle, we're gonna go long. <laughs> oh yeah, we're going long. 
We're going long. Mm, mm, mm. I don't have a way into the tower, and I'm definitely not getting... Uh, Man, that's weird. A murder hobo's game where I'm not watching the clock like an eagle? <laughs> well, I, I remember what you wrote. <laughs> <laughs> what are you going to do, Karash? Come on, Captain! You want me to hit the thing? I'm not hitting that thing. Do whatever you want, all right? <laughs> do whatever you want, if you want. Hey, you know, it's a one shot. We can all die and we'll just come back next time. So I think she likes Karash. So. But to be yeah, fair, do. a Dew Clan <laughs> goblin has never died except for Mama Udu, but she comes back from the dead. So yeah. she's right. died like four times. You <laughs> got your, all right. Um, I don't know you have your, I don't know you have your ancestors up or not. Um, so are they still up? No. Yeah. Uh, and I don't know where you are, and all I know is the dog is there, and I do not fight, feel like fighting this thing alone. No, no, don't, 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 don't. So, um, oh, do, 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 do. I'm trying to get there. I believe in you. If you want to fight it, we can do that. Didn't realize Captain Crush was a pussy. <laughs> <laughs> That's why not that soldier stupid. wasn't interested in him. I got it. He's not stupid. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just He's keep poking dumb. the bear. <laughs> so you're He's gonna not hide. a dummy. He knows a dragon, um, but he also wants treasure. So. Yeah. Um, let me see what I can do. I don't have anything that could do anything. Uh, all right. Uh, Hug on the wall. I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and fuck it. Uh, <laughs> Yeah. Who are we? I don't know. I'm trying to get back there. Distracting I... strike. Oh god. Oh, I'm gonna shit. hit I'm gonna hit the creature with a weapon attack. Spend one of my superiority uh dice to distract the creature, giving your allies an opening. Okay. Go ahead and hit. All right, sixteen plus two or Yes, so plus two is 18 hits. That does hit. All right, so I rolled a one. I can re-roll that. Eight plus uh, three is 11 points of damage. Plus, uh, let's see, I get to add uh, another uh, to the, another dice to my roll. So 11 plus 11 is 22. And uh, the next attack against the target by the attacker I have advantage on my next attack until the start of my next turn. Shaman, you're up. There's a disturbance outside. Sounds like a cool mm. dog. Ooh, time to be a hero. You know what? Shaman runs out with a shield, a whip in one hand, and a raging boner from his loin. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a leg and a half over there. <laughs> He can pick up TV stations from I thought Chicago. the goblin with the prosthetic leg, Kyle, was your other character. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, and he'll go, get up my darn lawn! <laughs> <laughs> uh, and raging and recklessly attacking. And technically, it's a, it's kind of like a surprise attack because you the dragon gets advantage against me. So he's distracted by me. So I don't oh, know. I was, I'm answer. still going to go reckless for the fun of it because. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just saying that you get you would probably be able to roll advantage, I guess. Kick its butt. Kick its ass. Come on. Uh, so that is going to be a uh, eight damage. And the Dew Clan is back. Ghostly spirits. There's one sitting on a thing going ding, 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 ding. So it just rolls normally against Captain yes. Garage. Correct. Yeah. Uh, 11 plus 6, 17. Garage? Uh, uh, 17 does hit. Okay. Oh, here's the best part. 20, or 20, sorry, 12 damage from the bike. Please. That's actually only six damage because the Dew Clan halves the damage if you do get hit. 
Oh, wow. Well, uh, I'm going to tell you this. The owlbear did more damage. So, <laughs> Anja, you're up. Uh, you can see the fight. Uh, it's going to take you around to get within melee combat, even at dash. I Yeah, I'm going to. That's what I'm going to do. You will be eligible to fight next round. Fenton, uh, your associate has mm -hmm. braved the great red worm and headed into battle. Mm -hmm. uh, Roger is also there. Okay. I tell Roger to make his attack run. Why don't you go fuck yourself? <laughs> <laughs> Roger sound like Mickey Mouse. Oh yeah. no, boys and girls. <laughs> fuck yourself, Fenton. I'm going to get the fuck out of here. <laughs> You can, you can, Donald, let's go! Goofy, <laughs> kick that guy's ass! Okay. Right, so, so uh, Roger's going to make his uh, attack oh. run, and then I'm going to make my take my movement to join the others in, sure. in, in a fight. So that that's going to be the, the thing. Now, is Roger in, in actual range to actually attack? He is now. Okay. All right, then. Uh, he I assume is, he's moving forward, right? Yeah, he's moving forward, so... Okay. Sorry. Got a roll for Roger. Uh, that is uh, a 17. That hits. Okay. Uh, let's see. Uh, Roger uh, is going to make a, uh, what do they call it? Uh, a force attack. It's empowered rend. So it's going to be 2d8 force force damage. Okay, uh, it's going to hit the dragon for 11 damage. Uh, I think I went out of dead. order. Uh, okay, top of the order, Shaman. I think we all went. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, lots of That's people were running is what I remember. Yep. Okay, and I will just go at it normally this time. Uh, 17 to hit. Yep. That is six damage, and the ghosts still harass him. Uh, fair enough. So I have four people I can choose from. Uh, five. Don't forget about Roger. <laughs> no, I am counting Roger. I'm not counting Anja. Oh. Uh, Oh, cool. I think the dragon would fly away and go after Anja personally, but... Such Just saying. Uh, actually, <laughs> the dragon is going to fly up. God damn it. Great. So, if you're in melee, you get an opportunity attack. All right. Yep. But it is getting the flock out of here. 14. Uh, does not hit. Uh -huh. Seven uh, damage with a yeah. 19 to hit. Got it. And Fenton? Uh, it's going to have to make a deck save because I'm going to take a piece of debris and catapult it at it. 18 plus, you said dex? Mm -hmm. 18 straight up. Okay, it, it misses. And Anja at disadvantage as you are late to the ball. Oh, I can try to hit it? Yep, mm -hmm. at disadvantage. All right, I can't really declare anything. Oh, you fucker. That would have probably had one of those was a nat fucking 20. Uh, but, uh, <laughs> 15, that is 19. That 19 event. hits. Okay, so I do. Yeah, because that's a bonus action, not an action action. Uh, what is this? 1d8? Yeah, you aren't going to kill him. It's a, am I really? No, you aren't. Going to okay, kill. I think so. Especially when I roll a friggin' one in the D8. So that's wow. So the, but that's still one D8 plus six. So that's seven points of damage. That works. Uh, the dragon hauls ass into the skyline and goes up and over the tower to protect itself. It will escape, uh, which is fine because. <laughs> Uh, the shaman has already got his erection rolling. <laughs> He's got uh, it rolling. You guys have not died, which is a plus. Who wants to roll against me? Oh, you guys don't have to roll. How many? Uh, how many hexes did you hit? Uh, 
I have one on top of all the ones that we hit. 13 is what I see. Mm -hmm. All right, so uh, did, you, did you include the fact that I had a text and then they had a different text? Yeah, mm -hmm. 10.02 and 9.03. Yeah. Okay. Uh, blue has a special significance. Uh, red and white are the assholes that you saw leave. Could they have been eaten? Can we adopt uh, them like a D4 because we found a dragon's treasure? No, they yeah. found a Gorgon. Oh, oh great. are they dead? <laughs> that, they those dice are, are That's a one. Awesome. They're full of shit. <laughs> and an eight. Yeah, we win. Yeah. Yeah. You, you right. won that one, meaning yeah. that your assholes that you saw right off the bat <coughs> are dead. Good. These guys are the ones that burnt the kobold village to the ground. Oh, so they're, they're both assholes. They're all assholes. They are. I think all three groups were assholes. We're assholes. <laughs> <laughs> we're at the he was we were the least stab one of you. So. We're a republic of assholes. <laughs> yes. Now, An just says we weren't assholes to Fenton and Captain Karash who ran <laughs> and Shaman who screamed, hey, go that way. <laughs> Anja, final thoughts. That was good. I wish we had more time because it would have been fun to explore more and wish the dragon didn't run away. Oh, the, oh, I, how close do we get? Well, to at least we can, you know, yeah. score, score the, the horde. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, we, hey, we, 23 we, hit points away from killing it. Yeah. Oh, Frick, we were that close. Yeah, we could have done it. Yeah, you guys did a lot of damage to it. I was surprised. And you haven't, you didn't even get to my actual turn, so well, I would have hit him pretty hard. I, well. I, I could have done a lot more damage than that. But that was fun. I, it was an interesting scenario. I kind of like those ones where we're exploring things and finding <laughs> stuff along the way. I just wish we had. I wanted to take out the assholes who burnt the village, though. I really wanted to catch up to them. I'll take. I'll I'll show you that off air where they're at. Uh, Christy, what'd you think? I thought it was fun. Uh, I think we probably had better tactics and less murder instinct. But, uh, <laughs> I, I, if we had a little bit more time, maybe we could have like did some more stuff to distract the dragon and uh, get... <laughs> sacrificed Roger again. Yeah. I mean, but the thing is, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's it's an artificial. Uh, yeah, Nick, I mean, he can, he can I can build fix another. it. Yeah, yeah I can if you're it. alive, yeah, you can. Yeah, if I'm alive, alive I can yeah. fix it. <laughs> it's he, Roger's not important to keep alive more than Fenton. Is. That's his job is to defend. So, yeah. Yeah. right, Kyle, what'd you think? I, uh, you're happy that we went over. Uh, he is, oh, he is yes. beaming. He is absolutely I'm, beaming. I'm enjoying that very much, but I'm also <laughs> sad <laughs> that he, she, it died and wasn't yeah. able to backstab one of these other guys. <laughs> I didn't want that damn thing with us in the first place, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> I was debating whether I should kill him and eat him or <laughs> convince Raise him to stab him? one of you guys in the back. Them, them I went with the ladder. But... <laughs> <laughs> and David, what'd you think? Uh, I enjoyed it. I thought it was fun. And I know where some of this came from, Frank. So <laughs> that was my first episode. My mind. That's where that shit came from. Yep. Uh, just repeating oh. re what? Yeah. Yeah, just, what, what? Just <laughs> recycling shit. No, uh, I enjoyed it. So. Very good. Folks, follow us on Twitch. Follow us on Twitter. Take a look at our YouTube archive. If you want to buy our stuff, it's there. If you want to join us on Discord, it's there. If you want a seat, hit us up. Uh, we'd like to thank Odd Fish Games uh, for thinking about sponsoring us. We appreciate it. Again, don't forget to check out their website. Don't forget to check out Adventure Sense. Uh, love that place. Bitch, Set fuck, cunt, slut, shit. Nice. <laughs> don't do that shit. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. This is for mature <laughs> audiences only. Uh, nobody watches it till the very end. Uh, <laughs> folks, for everybody here at Murder Hobo Inc., uh, we're waving goodbye. Wash your hands. Cover your mouth when you cough. Thanks for joining us tonight. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs>